joins me and you know we were talking about this morning the potential for you know issuing the first alert and we're kind of looking at maybe the possibilities that we could see some heavy rain not only tomorrow but into the weekend so some of the areas that were hit hard you know especially the weekend before last weekend last Sunday could potentially see some pretty good rains exactly Dave and you know what these storms are going to drop one, two, three inches of rain in a short amount of time. And when all that rain accumulates and adds up on low-lying roads, we could see flash flooding happening quickly around the area. So that's why we just wanted to give you a heads up to watch out for Friday and Saturday, potential flooding both days. Yeah. And, and not everybody's gonna be looking at, uh, you know, flooding potential. There's gonna be isolated spots that we'll see. And some areas won't, and likely won't pick up any rainfall as we make our way towards the weekend. But this is where the bulk of the moisture is, the bulk of the rainfall is occurring. Now we've been tracking some of the area smoke from some of the fires. And here's our short term model uh, showing some of the smoke that is in place. Now here's our future track model. Here's nine o'clock that I noticed we have some of the clouds, most of the rain expected to be out towards the west of us. But as you look towards tomorrow morning and we stop the clock early Friday morning, and look at some of this rain out in our far eastern counties. Get it developed to the north and then make its way down towards the south. Not going to be fast moving showers and storms out there. So again, you get underneath one of these cells, you can see some pretty good rain in a short period of time. So here's 10 o'clock Friday morning. A little wave of energy makes its way along the lower valley, moves down towards the south and the southeast, almost following Interstate 10 as it drifts into Hudspeth County. So that's going to be the potential for our Friday morning. Then by five o'clock, you'll notice the clouds in place and then maybe a few thunderstorms begin to break out by eight o'clock. And if you look here across maybe portions of Otero County up here in Doniana County, El Paso County, we get some colors going, some yellows, even though it's very isolated, but then it expands a bit by nine o'clock. Look at this good portion of El Paso County could potentially be looking at some showers and the thunderstorms a lot of this is not going to move very quickly maybe shifting to the east a little bit by 11 o'clock so south of alamogordo maybe you folks in chaparral otero county still el paso county could be looking at some of these showers and storms it'll very slowly drift off towards the east and then saturday morning by seven o'clock we have the clouds it's gonna be another muggy humid day by the way on your saturday look to the south here comes some more moisture big moisture plume from south to the north once we head into Saturday evening, Saturday night, so a second round of potential rainfall makes its way into the area, and this should continue kind of off and on into your Sunday as well. In fact, coming up at ABC 7 at 6, we're going to take a look at our future track rainfall model. How much accumulating rain could we see? So 89 tomorrow, first alert for Friday, Saturday. We'll keep temperatures in the 80s with that the chance of rain staying right around 40, 50%. And the chance of rain will linger into next week. A little bit less so as temperatures begin to rise into the mid-90s. We'll take a break. We have more news for you after this.